Now I'm going to tell you about how amyloid plaques form in the brain. It's a bit of a detailed picture there. Here's how it works. Genes create beta secretase and, and gamma secretase. These two secretases go up and snip off the amyloid precursor protein, which is a transmembrane protein in brain cells. When they're snipped off, and they're 40 or 42 amino acids in length, they go into the brain, and they're neurotoxic. They become oligomers, they're very neurotoxic. Then they combine into fibrils, and then they become the amyloid plaque in the brain. Okay. What if those genes didn't make any gamma secretase or any beta secretase? Then there would be no more amyloid plaque formed, and more important, no more toxic, neurotoxic proteins floating around in the brain. So that was our goal here. And what stops it, what quenches these genes, now you may have the Alzheimer's genes where you're four times as likely to get Alzheimer's disease because you're making the pres presenilin, presenile, is one of the genes that make you more prone to have Alzheimer's disease. But SAMe quenches it, so it doesn't do anything. You may be 10 times as likely as other people. It's rare, but having two genes, SAMe quenches both of them. So you are no longer more prone to Alzheimer's disease than anyone else. In fact, less than most people if you have enough. Isn't that interesting? So quenching of the SAMe results in decreased amyloid production. In this 2018 study in molecular neurobiology, quote, thus preventing Alzheimer's disease, end quote. Uh, perhaps they're being a bit optimistic there. Uh, but it does prevent the formation of amyloid plaques, and that is well proven. People with Alzheimer's disease were found to be very deficient in SAMe. This is something we should make in our bodies all the time, but they were deficient. Vitamin B12 and folate are what create SAMe. Greens and beans for folate, that's where you get it, those pretty pictures there. And vitamin B12, well, you're likely to get that from a supplement. Whether you eat meat or you don't eat meat, it's probably advisable to take vitamin B12. Folate lowers the risk of Alzheimer's disease. So here we're looking at risk, four times the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease if you're low in folate. These findings suggest that folate deficiency may precede the onset of Alzheimer's dis disease. So eat some greens and beans. Those with Alzheimer's disease, now we're looking at people already with Alzheimer's disease, four times as likely to have elevated homocysteine, that's what SAMe is made from, if you have B12, which was four times lower, and, and, and folate, which is three times lower. So in our trial, we supplemented vitamin B12 as a methylcobalamin form and folate as the real folate form. This study looked at preservation of brain cells, and they found that if you didn't have enough folate in B12, the gray matter was lost. If you did, it was not lost. Very close to zero loss. Where do you get enough folate? This graph shows you this. I have to give credit to McGraw-Hill for letting me use my own graph. Uh, it is, shows that uh, greens, like spinach, were the highest in folate. Greens and beans, also nuts and seeds, have folate too. So if you're eating plant food, you're likely to get enough folate. Oh, I want to go back one. Oops, that's not the back button. That's the back button. On the little graph on the right, you can see on an American diet, the folate is the bar on the right. The amount of folate we need is the bar on the left. No wonder Alzheimer's is so prevalent and growing. People are not eating enough greens and beans. Vitamin B12 is another story. Clinically, most people who are vitamin B12 deficient in their blood are getting plenty of vitamin B12 in their diet, but they're not absorbing it because vitamin B12, first it has to be to go into the stomach and be broken free from its protein carrier. That depends on stomach acid made by the parietal cells. Parietal cells also make intrinsic factor, and the intrinsic factor is necessary to go with the vitamin B12 into the intestine in order for it to be absorbed. With this complex absorption process, it's very difficult for people who eat animal products because their fiber is low and their parietal cells are challenged by putting out a lot of stomach acid all the time. So whether you are vegan or aren't vegan, if you're vegan, of course, you're getting no vitamin B12, 
I think supplementation is very wise. And you can have your vitamin B12 checked in your blood. I do. You can also have your homocysteine checked in your blood. It's a good idea, and most standard blood profiles will check that. Now, SAMI also had some nice side effects. Whether you get it from folate and B12 and make it yourself, or you take it externally, it did seem to reduce senile plaques that create oxidative stress. So it's a precursor to glutathione. So it's, SAMI's very protective to the brain in other ways than just quenching and methylating the genes that make the plaques. It also reduced tau tangles. Now, in the picture here, you see that the top one is, looks like an egg, and the bottom one looks like a fried egg. The fried egg one is the tau tangle. It's a nerve cell that has been damaged by phosphorylated tau until it really can't function. The connections to other nerve cells, the dendrites and axons are lost with these. But this is very helpful. And you know, it's interesting that SAMI does have side effects. One of the side effects is it is shown to be as powerful in reducing knee osteoarthritis pain as Celebrex, a very powerful painkiller, COX-1. So since they lower the risk of Alzheimer's disease, in our trial, we gave people 200 milligrams of SAMe. And it is really quite safe. There is one drug interaction. It should not be mixed with any antipsychotic medication, especially selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. But just don't mix it with any antipsychotic medication because it's been widely used for depression and we don't want your smile to get any bigger than hers. <laughs> so from these studies, we can see that if you just get enough vitamin B12 and folate, you can cut your risk of Alzheimer's down by about one quarter. 